Now, for our last story, let's take you to the Upper East region, where Haven of Love Children's Foundation, a Christian non-governmental organization working in the Boku West District, has organized holiday classes for 170 pupils in uh, Teshi community there. Now, the move is aimed at discouraging children from traveling to cities uh, to look for menial jobs during the holiday period and also to help improve their academic performance. Albert Sore has more. The Heaven of Love Children's Foundation is a non-denominational Christian organization committed to supporting and nurturing the youth in the love of God. Director of the Heaven of Love Children's Foundation, Mary Mesa, says the holiday classes are the foundation's current project aimed at engaging children of the Teshik community at Zebila to prevent them from taking advantage of their long vacation period to travel down south of the country to try and do menial jobs. Actually, in the cities, during vacation, you have people who go to private schools and, you know, who, better schools, have the opportunity of having a summer vacation. So normally, this kind of programs are done in the, in the, in the cities. You have it, they call it summer vacation, and usually they will have to pay, some of them have to pay large sums of money to come back to school and get extra education. So this would actually go a long way in keeping the children from loitering about and going into all sorts of dangerous activities out there. And they will be motivated to want to come back to school, you know, so that they don't just see, actually, that is another purpose of the camp, they don't just see school as an abstract thing or something that they are forced to go to. The, the, the aim is to make them see school, that school can be fun, education can be fun, and there's so much out there that they, they can learn from what they are doing here. So Some of the children who took part in the holiday classes spoke to Joy News. This three days book camp will help me, like the reading books they give us now. If I use that one to read, it will help me. I've learned so many things. First of all, I've learned about the courting doctor. I learned that Margaret was a, uh, was a girl. And uh, 2000, 200 years ago, they say a, a, a woman cannot be a doctor. But Margaret forced to be a doctor. I always found a lot and does not get time to read. And I'm happy of getting this book. Um, and I pray that may God, may God let it come. The foundation, as part of its activities earlier this year, took a team of dental practitioners to some communities in the Boko West District to offer free dental services to them. Many people don't have toothbrushes. They don't use toothbrushes. Those who have toothbrushes, maybe toothbrushes have been there for years. Yeah. You can use one toothbrush for two years. It becomes ineffective. They have other have wrong toothbrushes. Some are using very hard toothbrushes. They have wrong toothbrushes and they also use wrong methods. So what I really recommend is uh, education and then to, uh, government should organize more outreach programs. Outreach programs. Outreach programs that could be sustained using the health insurance registrations. The activity was sponsored by the Otum 4 Osei Tutu II Charity Foundation in collaboration with the Smiles for Everyone Foundation. Reporting for Joy News, Albert Sorry, Zebila. And that's where we wrap up the news for this 